Spartan Nation. SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first. Then you act. First of all, I want to congratulate our basketball team on uh, Sweet 16. And looking forward to this weekend. Um, beyond that, first good scrimmage, as I said, uh, got about um, almost 150 plays or so on a Tuesday. So, you know, we're working it. But uh, I thought guys took a step forward. There's some explosive plays out there on our offensive side of the ball. And, uh, you know, had some good quarterback play as well. And then obviously our defense did some diff different things as well. So. I'll uh, take some, some questions. I'm sort of stumbling change, around. With the changes you made in your staff, do you get a sense you guys kind of feel a little rejuvenated on that side of the ball? Yeah, you know, I think spring, first of all, does that for everybody. It sort of brings you forward <coughs> into the next phase. And uh, uh, so I think that, uh, you know, our coaches have done a nice job, and I thought the results of it today were, were positive. You know, offense won the scrimmage, um, you know, I think 46 43 or 50, 50 to 40, uh, 49 43. So that was a positive thing, and uh, as I said, we had some guys make some explosive plays today. I thought Elijah Collins looked good, uh, made a couple plays out there, uh, big plays. So it was good to see a couple guys, wide receivers, make plays. What have you seen from the offensive line? <clears throat> uh, right now, I think they're performing pretty well. You know, it goes back and forth. You know, spring practice is one of those type of things where if the defense doesn't win, the, win something, then you're complaining about that, or if the offense doesn't win something, then complaining about that aspect of it. So it goes sort of back and forth. But uh, uh, they've been solid, and uh, I think uh, some of those guys up there right now are playing very, very well. Uh, a couple other guys need to play better. Mark, I know Brian couldn't because of his injury, which is intelligent to lay off this offseason, but Rocky went to a couple of quarterback coaches around the country. I'm just, have you seen any progression from him? Rocky played well today. I thought Theo Day as well. Um, both those guys played well. I thought the work he played was solid as well. They all make plays. Coach, speaking of Brian, you said he hadn't thrown the ball much yet and you hadn't seen much in terms of his progress. What has he shown you in terms of his progress? No, his, ball, his ball's coming out. You know, he's had an opportunity to, to work uh, before uh, spring ball as well in terms of, uh, you know, just throwing. It just took it easy a little bit, but uh, his arm's live, so it's good. Did it come down to the wire like a lot of these scrimmages do? Of course. <laughs> I've got to try and make it like that, but... Uh, but, uh, you know, it was more high scoring and, uh, you know, everybody got involved. So we played basically three quarters of a game. What's your message to your team in the spring? What's your message to your team in the spring? Right uh, I think the message is, uh, you know, what's the standard around here? What's the stand standard and, and keep pushing forward? Uh, so, uh, you know, we sort of get more involved as we get closer to the season in terms of what's, what's a mantra or things like that. But, uh, but focus, you know, play with great effort, toughness, those type of things that we're always talking about. Does it help that you have such an experienced group back, maybe leading the charge and bringing some of these younger guys along faster? Yeah, it always helps when you have older guys. You know, they've been there a little bit. They've, they've sort of been in, uh, in the thick of it, whether they've had success or, or had some uh, adversity. You know, both in both cases, I think they were able to move forward a little faster. I know that you didn't add any on-field coaches, Mark, but did you add any other people to your staff this offseason? Um, let me think. With the changes you made, do you, do you notice, like, even if it's just minor stuff, tech, uh, coaching technique and stuff, stand out in practice, just watching guys work with the new positions? You know, I keep, I keep talking about it. I know that there's, you know, that football really is a game of execution. It's a game of technique and fundamentals, and uh, we're going to go to the nth degree to find out, you know, what to teach and where, you know, where to put our, you know, our emphasis, I guess. And then after that, it's up to our players to perform. So we'll always do that. We'll always give them an opportunity to play and to stay ahead of the game a little bit. Uh, but they've got to know what to do and be able to do it well. So that's the key to coaching. I think Any around January you mentioned that uh, you're going to have your coaches go out and do little visits like you've done in the past. Is, is that something that's for the summer? Or are they already done that? And can you say so where we'll continue they to do anything? that throughout, but we've been to a couple places already. Did you call uh, Tom? Recently, have you helped him give him some advice for the no, Sweet 16? You know, I've talked to Coach Izzo all the time, so you know, um, very excited about the, uh, the basketball team and their opportunities. You brought some guys down to Chicago for the Big Ten tournament. What, what did that mean? What did you want them to take away from 
Well, I think anytime they can be around championships, it's, it's a positive and uh, they can feel the pressure and understand that they're going to have to play under pressure at some point as well. So, and then that'll be their turn. So uh, what I'm always trying to do is put them in a moment where they're, they're embracing uh, their, next, their next moment. Have there With been uh, the, any standouts among the early enrollees the past few weeks or so? Uh, you know, we've got a couple guys, you know, on the offensive line and defensive line, that type of thing. But I, I think that um, the skill players show up a little faster. So, you know, Anthony Williams has, you know, had some runs out there today. He's quick. Uh, he's got a burst. And then uh, Trey Mosley made a couple catches as well, and he's been solid as well. So those guys seem to show up a little faster at the skill positions. With the guys you lost to graduation, it seems like you're kind of thin on experience and safety beyond uh, David and Xavier. Are there guys yeah. like Dom that are going to work for safety or maybe some young corners moving, looking at possibly moving over there? You know, Michael Dow is playing, playing very, very well right now. You know, Emmanuel Flowers is back over there. Uh, he's been very solid as well. And, uh, you know, Trey Person is back over there as well. He's been very, very good. So all three of those guys have shown stuff. And then uh, X and uh, David have been have had good spring so far. So. I think we're uh, what, seven down, seven down in the spring practices, so uh, we'll keep moving. How about Josh Butler? Um, Josh how's been he good. Looked? He's looked good. He's looked good. Well, um, can you say anything about what happened to him last year? Because we sort of saw him, and then I think he tried to come back maybe, and then just yeah, you know, only had a couple of... You know, he's, he's, had, he's had some difficult situations he's working himself through and uh, been doing the very best he can, and we're trying to support him in every way. Is, was Warner going to play this spring? Ed, no, yeah. he's out. So, you guys look good? Like kind of slow your, your look for your backup mic and your, and your next guy to kind of, men, you know, Joe to mentor and look forward to Yeah, we've got quite a few. we got a couple guys uh, playing, playing at Mike. You know, uh, Tyreek Thompson can play in there. Um, Chase Klein is repped in there. Dante Rosano is repping in there. And obviously Joe's playing there. So, and then Ed will be back as well. Is Jake Harberger, is he able to go all yeah, the way? he's going. Cool. Okay. How do you mix a guy like Jack in there who kind of brings a... a well, you know, style? it was interesting because this was his first day of taking an actual punt in practice in the stadium. So... Uh, you send everybody at him? No, Just... <laughs> no, 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 no. Take it easy. Uh, he punted one to the, the, the top donor in the, in, the, uh, in the stands about. It would look like it, it went right to the 50. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he's, he's a talented guy and uh, he'll have his opportunities. Is it fair to say he brings a different dimension? I mean, do you try to put the rule yeah, out does. and everything? Yeah, he does. He okay. does. Brings a different dimension. Did you have to hold anyone else out for the scrimmage? Uh, no. No. And one, Everybody went. One guy I don't think we talked about the other day, uh, Justice Alexander, was not, not on the spring roster. Has he no, I've, I've made that announcement program? earlier. Justice is not, you know, he's in the transfer portal. Okay. So, sorry. Yeah. All good, guys? Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.